welcome back to my mom's YouTube channel. Today she's going to be showing you guys how to make a delicious jerk chicken. But before we get started, please go ahead if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, this is your chance to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And please guys, don't forget to like, share and comment. Now, now let's, let's jump right, right into, into it. it. Okay guys, so the first thing we'll do is cut the entire backbone out of this chicken. You want to do that first before you do anything else. So we'll cut the backbone out and then we will wash and clean the chicken. You want to clean this really well, removing any feathers that might be on the chicken. You know, all that livery stuff that's in the thighs and all that. You want to clean it really well and then we'll proceed with the next step. Now that the chicken is super clean, we can now season the chicken. Here I have some of my homemade jerk seasoning. The link to this will be down in the description box. I have some of my homemade green seasoning. I have some chicken bouillon, some dry jerk seasoning, black pepper, and some complete seasoning. This is the part where you want to combine all of the seasonings. We will add everything into one bowl and mix them all really well if you notice i'm not using any garlic powder onion powder and those kinds of things here because my green seasoning and also my jerk seasoning has all of those things blended into the paste so i will not be adding those because i have it freshly made in my green seasoning and in my jerk seasoning Now we'll gently massage the seasonings into the chicken, making sure that it is well seasoned. We will lift the skin underneath the breast. We will put the seasonings there. Then we'll lift the skin underneath the thighs and we'll place the seasonings all up into the legs, the thighs, everywhere. We'll make sure the wing is seasoned, the back, the front, and all that. You want to let this sit for about you know 24 hours put it in the refrigerator overnight because that's that will give you the best result and you know stuff like this you can't rush you gotta just be patient and let this sit and that will give you the best result because remember we are we are not barbecuing this on an actual grill we are doing this in the oven so you want to make sure that the chicken is well seasoned to get that nice, you know, jerk flavor and stuff like that. So I did transfer the chicken into a Ziploc bag because it takes up less space. And you don't have to worry about all that seasoning smell taking over your refrigerator. So we'll place that now in the fridge and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Fast forward to the next day, we are finally here. And I did take my chicken out of the fridge two hours prior so that it could come up to room temperature. The last thing you want to do is put a cold chicken inside of your oven. Your chicken will turn out hard and it will not be as juicy as if it is you know nice and warm when you put it in the oven so now we will sit this in a 400 degree oven for about one hour then i'll show you guys the next step now we'll go ahead and make a delicious pineapple glaze for that chicken here i have some fresh pineapples that i went ahead and pureed i have some honey some balsamic vinegar complete seasoning and some smoked paprika. First, we'll start by combining all of the ingredients. We will mix well, then we will transfer this to a small saucepan.
On medium heat, we will allow this to come up to a boil until it thickens up a bit. Once it thickens and starts to look like this, we will now turn the heat off and set this aside. And after about one hour, this is how the chicken is looking. Now we'll go ahead and glaze the chicken. Look at the texture of this glaze, how it is nice and thick. Now we'll go ahead and just brush the glaze over the chicken, making sure that it is evenly coated with that glaze. Then we will place this back into the oven for about 30 minutes. So after about 1 hour and 30 minutes guys, our chicken is finally done. It is super delicious, flavorful and the glaze is just the perfect amount of tanginess, sweetness and just right for this spicy jerk chicken guys. I will be enjoying this with some creamed spinach, macaroni and potato salad and some seasoned pineapple rice. I do hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all the ingredients down in my description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Enjoy!